Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting Will I Buy It video. I'm excited because I haven't filmed one of these in a hot second. And it's been an interesting year for me so far. A lot of the new makeup releases have really not been catching my attention. And I'm a little bit disturbed by it. Like, I was at Sephora the other day and I'm like, I don't want any of this. So that was interesting. But it's a good thing. It's a good change. I still have, don't worry, I still have a pile of makeup to test out for you guys. So there will be no shortage of content here on my channel. But without further ado, let's get into some of the new makeup releases and my thoughts on them. So I pulled up my trusty trend mood. The first thing I see on here is a new MAC collection. I believe this is their spring collection. It's called, I don't even know what it's called. Oh, it's like a Sakura um, themed palette and it's beautiful. I mean, the collection is Sakura themed. So it's like beautiful flowers and lots of pinks. I feel like pink is definitely making its rounds here on the beauty circuit. Um, you know, it kind of started with, for me, I think the new Nudes palette, the Jeffree Star um, Blood Sugar palette has a lot of pink shades in it. And then we saw the Ooh La La palette by ColourPop. So pink's definitely making its rounds. I personally love wearing pink in my crease. This palette and this collection is very subtle. I honestly haven't wanted anything from MAC Cosmetics in a long, long time, and so I won't be buying any of it. But I thought it was very cute packaging, very eye-catching stuff, so if you're interested, you might want to check it out. This is something that's kind of exciting me. It is the Rose Collection by Melt Cosmetics. I do love a good shimmery blush color, and these two blushes are so beautiful. The only thing with Melt is they are kind of spendy, and I believe these are like $39 a piece, which is kind of expensive. Like, I don't know. It's like almost an eyeshadow palette, and so I don't think I'll be buying it, but it looks like they're doing a Valentine's Day sale that starts on February 15th. So if you guys have been eyeing something from Melt Cosmetics, now might be your chance to pick it up. Okay, the next big thing that was announced recently is the Jeffree Star collab with Morphe. Now, I am not the biggest fan of Morphe, but I do talk about them on my channel. You know, it's fine, whatever. There's some stuff from them I love. I really love their liquid lipsticks. I have a ton of their eyeshadow brushes because honestly, I can't bring myself to spend hundreds of dollars on makeup brushes, so I think they're a nice brand to kind of have around. And they are collabing with Jeffree Star and they are doing their own brush collection and it looks like there's three face brushes and then four eye brushes and one of the brushes is like a brow brush so that's nice. The thing about these brushes is they kind of remind me a little bit of the Tarte Unicorn brushes. Do you guys remember those? And I actually have that collection. Here it is. So this looks very much like the Jeffree Star Morphe collab. It is seven custom eye and face brushes plus a brush bag for $49. I don't think that's a terrible price. This will launch February 5th at 10 a.m. I know, I know this is gonna sell out because Jeffree Star fans and Morphe fans are crazy. So I know it'll sell out. Personally, I'm not planning on buying it. You guys, I have so many brushes, so many brushes. If you look behind me, I have brushes. I have brushes over there, brushes in a drawer. Like I have plenty of brushes. So I'm passing on that. I feel like I talked about the Kylie Valentine's collection maybe in a previous video, but that is now available for purchase and she did a eyeshadow palette. I feel like I heard a lot of people talking about the eyeshadow palette. A lot of people were really interested in the eyeshadow palette and personally, I did think it was beautiful as well. There are some lights where it looks like it will work for somebody with my skin tone, but if you really look at the product shots, it is a very light palette, so like the shimmer shades are very light. I do love like the two bright shades in there, like that bright pink and that bright coral shade are stunning. I think those would be beautiful crease shades. I wish somebody would put something together like this, but a little bit more tan girl friendly. I think it would be fun to see. Or even if she did, like she could have split this palette and done two six pan palettes. That would have been cool. Like with the brighter shades and like some brighter shimmers and then like a more soft valentine and a more like daring valentine. Like I think that would have been fun. And then she did a bunch of other liquid lipsticks, blah, 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 um, lip glosses, you know, the whole thing that she does. And yeah, I don't know, it's cute, but it's nothing I'm running 
out and buying. This, I am actually really shocked, Anastasia's Spring Collection. They're doing two limited edition quads and it's called Daytime and Sunset. And honestly, like nobody's more excited to see new makeup launches, I feel like, than me. Because a lot of the new launches have been very, mm, for me, it's like nothing really has sparked my attention. So I was really hoping that Anastasia would do something. But these kind of look like MAC palettes to me. And um, who was it? I think Angelica was saying too, like the quads themselves are $32 and Anastasia eyeshadow palettes are $42 and so it would have been nice if they just did like a spring palette. I would have loved to see them do some kind of pastel or just some kind of fun color palettes like you know some more kind of like Huda obsession vibes because I love Anastasia's formula. You can't beat Anastasia's formula. I just wish they had done something more innovative for them instead of just some quads. Not that there's anything wrong with quads. I just wish they had done more fun colors and then, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of like shimmery lipsticks so none of that is catching my attention. The whole thing is just kind of like okay for me. Here is something I actually wish I could bring myself to splurge on but I'm not going to. This is the Wayne Goss um, synthetic brush set. It's a face brush set and it's $140. And I'm sure this is amazing because I have some of Wayne Goss's eye brushes. I bought his eye brush set um, because I love eyeshadow. So I wanted to try some of the best eyeshadow brushes. And I do really love those, but I won't buy the face brushes anytime soon. Unless I get some kind of like magical raise and I just have like unbelievable amounts of money. That will be fun. Here is something, I was really confused about this because I saw a lot of people getting really excited about it, but I don't know how many people will actually buy this. This is the Jouer blush palette that they launched and I love that like orange shade. That looks gorgeous. The rest is okay. And then I heard somebody say that four of the six shades in this palette are already in their two pan blush bouquets or whatever they're called and I thought that was kind of silly like nobody wants to, I mean well not nobody wants to buy the same shades over but I feel like if you already have two or even one of those palettes why would you want to buy this like it totally defeats the purpose and so I was kind of confused why they did that I feel like they should have done all new shades or just like just release the new two shades in that two pan situation, which is beautiful, but they decided to do this palette. And honestly, I'm kind of on like a blush no buy because I have way too many blushes. <laughs> so yeah, it's not really something that interests me. Okay, now ColourPop did have a launch, you guys. I recently filmed a video, I love it so much. Please check it out if you haven't. It is a ColourPop Rewind video and what I did was I went through all of ColourPop's releases from 2018 just to kind of give you guys a recap so you could see how much stuff they actually came out with and like, you know, everyone always says like, oh, would it be a week if it wasn't like a week full of ColourPop? And so it feels like 2019 is already off to a massive, you know, ColourPop launch start and they came out with another collab with Kathleen Lights. They did these Zodiac Loose Pigments um, with Kathleen Lights and honestly, I had a few loose pigments back in the day, but they are so much work to put on your eyeballs and I have such small eyelids, like I literally am fine just using eyeshadow. So even though this is like, it's not even that beautiful. I mean, it's, they're okay shades. I don't think they're like mind-blowingly gorgeous where I need to buy all 12 of them. Um, but they did do a collection of pigments and it's ColourPop X Kathleen Lights and it's $70 for the set. Pretty freaking pricey and I just, there's nothing about that collection that like excites me so I'm more than happy to pass on it. This is really exciting. So Huda is doing new shades of her Melted Shadows and I actually tried one of these. I can't remember if I put it in a video but I may have like mentioned it on Instagram. I bought one of her dual ended eyeshadows and it was a really cool concept. The matte side blended really well with a synthetic wet and wild 
crease brush and then I just put the glitter on and I thought it was such a great idea for somebody on the go that didn't want to spend too much time on their makeup and I thought it would be so fun if she did more shades like I would love to see her do more colorful shades and so it's kind of like she heard me and they're doing some more spring shades and so this green shade this blue shade this pink shade I kind of want all three of those because I think those are a little bit more unique to my collection some of the ones she came out with um, originally are just more neutrals which is great again like I said girl on the go you want like a quick look for work or a night out I think it's a wonderful product so I'm really really excited for some of these funner funner shades and these launch February 12th so I'm so excited for that MAC Cosmetics is coming out with three new eyeshadow palettes one is super colorful one looks like a berry and one is more of a brown tone palette. The Colorful palette is kind of calling my name, but it reminds me so much of the new ColourPop Singles palette I just picked up, so I won't be purchasing the MAC one, and honestly, the MAC eyeshadow formula hasn't been good for, I feel like, a very, very long time, so I'm gonna pass on that and just just wait and pick something up that I actually want. Did you guys see this? Etude House Korean Makeup Kit Kat palette situation. I think this sneak peeked when I was on vacation and I'm like, what the hell is this? So I think it's kind of a cute idea. You guys, I love me some Kit Kat. I just have to go on the record and say American Kit Kat does not taste as good as a Middle Eastern Kit Kat, like European Kit Kat. Like American candy, you guys, is really not as good as candy from Europe like if you ever get the chance to try Cadbury milk chocolate Angelica if you want to send me some girl please over here I'll I'll send you my address please mail me some chocolate some really good European chocolate <laughs> I like anytime my mom comes to visit I always ask her to bring me some chocolate because my uncle will bring me chocolate from Dubai <laughs> Anyway, so this Kit Kat, it really brings me back because I love Kit Kat, but I'm not going to buy Kit Kat chocolate, guys. Sorry. Okay, let's talk about Too Faced. This is such a weird freaking collection. It's called Too Faced Pretty Messy, and I believe it's a collab with one of the Real Housewives. I don't really watch the Real Housewives, although since my mom's been here, she's been watching a lot of Netflix, and she introduced me to a show called Yummy Mummies. You guys need to watch it. It's like a really good binge watch with your best friend when you don't want to use a lot of brain power. It's it's really funny. So if you guys are looking for a good recommendation, Netflix recommendation, I would recommend. This is launching on February 12th and it's a pretty big collection. She's got an eyeshadow palette. She's got lip plumpers, lip kits, uh, Pat the Puss glow all over. For natural and perfected effect on skin with this delicious new kissable body shimmer. Ooh, <laughs> Too Faced is getting kinky again. Um, I, what is this? I didn't even realize this thing was called, I can't. Oh gosh, I saw swatches of that palette and I was like, no thank you. So I'm going to be passing on that whole situation. Okay, let's see here. What else happened while I was gone? Oh, Makeup Geek came out with new eyeshadow palettes. Honestly, guys, I think this one is a little bit, a little too late for Makeup Geek. I'm actually shocked every, si every time I see a company come out with a neutral palette. I know that these are like essentials, but everyone's already done these. Like, I already have 800 palettes like this, so... I don't want to be mean to Makeup Geek, but it's like, come on, like that was, uh, that was ill-timed, like they should have either done it sooner or just not done it at all and done something more fun, um, something a little bit more unique, I think. This was really, really cool. A lot of people I saw on Instagram accounts I follow, I was a little bit like saddened because a lot of people were like, who is that? Like, rah, rah. and it was like kind of irritating. But Huda Beauty did their first collab and they collab with Jacqueline Fernandez. And she is actually a Bollywood actress, but she's, I think she's Sri Lankan or like half Sri Lankan, which is pretty cool. If you didn't know, I'm from Sri Lanka. So I feel like, you know, a little spiritual like bond with her because she's honestly beautiful. I remember she competed 
in Miss World, I believe, for Sri Lanka. And she's stunning. She's so beautiful. Like, you guys should go look her up on Instagram. She is, she's so beautiful. So I'm so pumped that they collabed and I kind of want to buy these lashes, but I don't really wear lashes. So I'm like, I want to support, but I, I can't and I don't know what to do with myself. Like, and they're expensive lashes. So I'm like, uh. So, but yeah, if you guys like Huda Lashes and you want to support somebody that isn't like the cookie cutter YouTuber collab, I think you guys should do it. Just, just my opinion. Next thing is the Mini Holy Grail palette by Violet Voss. This is coming out February 12th. These, this actually does look really pretty and that's a thing too. So I was thinking about this, right? This one looks very much like the Makeup Geek palettes, but there's something about the presentation of this that looks so much better than the Makeup Geek, Geek palettes, even though the Holy Grail palette is a very like modern renaissance kind of palette. Um, it just still looks like it's presented so much better here. And I think that's what Makeup Geek needs to learn. Like you can tweak packaging and make things look a little bit nicer, like a little bit more like I want it, you know, because I really feel like I want this one more than the Makeup Geek, but I don't really see that big of a difference. I think this is a cool idea for them to do a mini palette. I actually held on to my Holy Grail palette. I really want to do a throwback with that palette because I have not used it enough at all. And I remember loving the Violet Voss for Formula. They have not released something new recently that I love as much as some of their older palettes and so yeah they always will have like a special place in my heart because they were one of those like Instagram brands that I discovered and loved you know before they were in like Sephora and stuff like that and I heard Angelica say she would love like a mini hashtag palette. I would love a mini of that other palette that they came out with that has a few greens. I think that would be fun if they did like some greens with some warm tone reds and stuff like that. So hopefully this means they'll be doing more smaller affordable palettes, which is always exciting. Okay, you guys, Summer Fridays is coming out with a new mask and it's called the R plus R mask. And this is a new product. I believe it is like an exfoliating, brightening mask. And I tried the jet lag mask. I honestly feel like this product or these products are a little bit overhyped. They are so pricey. How much is one of these masks? I think like 40 bucks. So I passed on the jet lag and I passed on the new one they came out with and um, now they have this one. And yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of passing on all of that. So just wanted to tell you guys about that new product. And then Sonia G, oh my gosh, she did a pro face brush set, you guys. This brush set was $270, and there are five brushes. That's insane, oh my god. I really want her eye brush set. Again, I feel like I can justify spending on really good eye brushes because I love eyeshadow so much, but when it comes to face brushes, it's like, ugh. I bought, like, the Marc Jacobs brush recently on sale. That was a good buy, but ooh, sometimes these face brushes get so expensive. So, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't justify that purchase. The new Hourglass foundation came out. I did pick that up. So far, I'm kind of like half and half. I don't know if I love it or like hate it. Cause like some days I feel so flawless wearing it. And then some days I'm like, mm. so I need to do a video on that. Let me know if you guys want to see a review or like, do you want me to put it on and like I get ready with me? Let me know. Also, if you guys are curious, I did film this look. Um, it's going to come up in a wet and wild, like a full face of wet and wild. I'm so excited because I did show you guys my wet and, wet and wild haul. I'll try and remember to link that up in the cards if you guys are interested. And then whenever this video is up, definitely subscribe so you can watch that. And thank you guys for hanging with me on this quick little Will I Bite video. I will see you guys in the next one soon.